questions are on your mind. Does partisanship permeate every aspect of Ghanaian life? Can Africans truly run their own affairs without a need for foreign aid? Do you have absolute confidence in the ability of security agencies to come to your aid when you need it? Do the emergency lines in this country even work? For answers to these and more, join me, Nuang Falong, on MX24. Across Africa, nations are beginning to trade among themselves like never before. Creating the largest continental market the world has ever seen. On the Single African Market Program, we will show you how products, services, capital and people will be crossing barriers as the continent and its citizens embrace a single market in a sustainable manner for growth and development to meet targeted UN development goals. Congratulations, Your Excellency. Get the latest update on all opportunities from the continent's trade house. Know the success stories and how challenges are being addressed. Africa is ready to trade among itself and the world, so are the people. The single African market is the voice of businesses that trumpets the vision of Africa everywhere in association with the government of Ghana, International Chamber of Commerce, Business for Peace Foundation, GIZ, UNECA, and UNDP. The single African market, this Monday at 8 p.m. on MX24. Welcome back to this beautiful Monday morning. We are live on MX24 TV with the AM Club. It's almost that time of the year where we are counting down to Accra's Crimea's festive event. This Christmas season, our event in partnership with our very own MX24 is freezing the time to give you off a frozen experience. Absolutely. And all day in and into the night, we are freezing time with all your favorite ice cream flavors from Accra's finest ice cream vendors. Now, get ready for the live music, the photo ops, the giveaways, the games, and more of those fun activities the whole family can enjoy. The Ice Cream Fair is on Boxing Day, that is 26th of December 2021. To get a stand, please call 055-8077-440, 055-8077-440, or follow us at Ice Cream Fair Ghana on all social media platforms to stay updated the ice cream fair 2021 hashtag the time freeze edition powered by ac events and in partnership with mx24 i have to catch my breath mister now <coughs> sorry it's time for lifestyle daily and today we will be having a conversation on how to cash in during this festive season now the average person tends to have a lot of bills to pay during christmas there's just a lot to spend on food get-togethers which misery and i are planning parties, gifts, travels, decorations, and more. Now, even though Christmas shouldn't be about the money, somehow it always seems to be a financial burden. Mm. But the best part of it is the business opportunities it presents. It is, however, left for you to identify and capitalize on these opportunities, make extra profit, and cater for all your Christmas and future expenses. If you want to know how to make money during this period, You've got to stay tuned because our guest is going to help us do that. Get your notepads ready and let's get right into it. Remember, you're a major part of the show, guys. So do also send us your questions, your thoughts. We don't know if we'll open the phone line. Maybe we will later in the conversation. But uh, the number to send your WhatsApp message to is 055-033-1511. 055-033-1511. Or on social media, especially Twitter, at MX24GH with the hashtag, the AM. Club and joining us, who do we have, Ms. Drew? 
ah, 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 ah. We have a very big investment professional, a good friend of mine as well. He has a bit of an accent. It's not the same as mine. But he has, he is called actually the one and only Mr. Terry Afram. Hello, Terry. I'm Mr. Drew. How are you? Can't complain, but God's grace. God is good. We thank you actually for coming again for such short notice. We appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Now, everybody wants to know, Christmas is around. We're actually, you know, already 12 days or 13 days in. 12 days of Christmas, 13 days in, and I don't know, what is 31 minus, two, 31 days of, in December, minus 13, I don't know how many days we have left, but we need to make some money, mm. okay, mm. we need to make some money this Christmas, and Maybe. you are the only person that I can trust to help us in that. The reason why I say that is because, you know, I know Terry outside church, and he was like, Drew, if you are not making money this December, then what are you doing? I, that's the wrong accent, but that's my best Dutch accent. <laughs> if you're thank not you, making money you. this December, what are you doing? So, Terry, yeah. tell us a little bit, firstly, about you and what you do. Yeah, excellent. Well, first of all, thank you. Thank you so much for, for, uh, for having me. Mm -hmm. uh, so, indeed, my name is Terry, Terry from. I run this company called Bridge Partners. Uh, so, Bridge Partners functions as a bridge between the West and the West, as in... West Africa and then the West as we know it. Um, and basically what we do is we help companies make money, really. Mm -hmm. right? So that's what we do. Um, we also help individuals make money. The diaspora invest, especially the diaspora that is like interested in kind of making money. Uh, but it's not just the diaspora, also our, our, our fellow brothers and sisters in the mm -hmm. homeland. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. And um, I mean, I went to different things. I sell fish, hey. I sell fashion, wow. I sell fixed assets. Eesh, do you see? Can, this, can you, yeah. can, would you be able to, don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Does this look like a fisherman? You know, so December is here and there are a lot of us that are, you know, there are some companies that start just for Christmas, want to make money for, you know, people coming in and want to cash in on only the Christmas period. Or some people that decide, you know what, right now I want to start my business. But we want to know from the nitty gritty, what would you say is yeah. the best type of, business to start up before that i wanted to know what christmas means to terry oh yeah you know. it's true actually yeah, it's a season what, what of love it's a family is all is that it, but what, what or does is it, it mean just money? to you 100%. Ah. No, 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 no. i mean money money is definitely a means to, to an end it's not an end right christmas mm. is all about obviously it, it even says it christmas right it's christ. christ's party right so ah. we're celebrating the birth of sweet baby jesus mm -hmm. ah. i'm a christian I wouldn't be here without Jesus. There you go. So, there you go. Uh, that's, 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 that's Christmas. Let's put it out there. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. We're celebrating the birth of, of Christ. Christ. I love that. Yeah. So now, as we celebrate, are you making money this Christmas? Oh, I mean, as we were seeing in Ghana. Oh, okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say small, small. Because I'll, I'll, I'll big, big. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a confession. I like that. We speak it into you know, existence. But, uh, <clears throat> I mean, we're, 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 we're trying to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now, we've got some, some people that are watching. They want to also be able to make money this Christmas. What would you say is the best type of business to venture into that's going to make a lot of dough yeah. in this December? Yeah, excellent. I'd say, you know, first of all, um, you'd have to understand that there's quite some people coming into the country, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I think estimations were that there's like around 150,000 people coming down this December. Um, not sure what the number will be, whether it will be um, higher or, or, or lower now. There's a few restrictions around mm -hmm. COVID. Um, however, I do believe that there's still some, quite some people that are going to come down to Ghana. Um, so a lot of client-facing businesses will definitely, definitely be needed, right? All these people coming down will need services, right? So tourism is something that you have to look at. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, before tourism, mm -hmm. before looking at tourism, you look at like what you are good at, mm -hmm. right? Look at yes. what you have, right? Mm -hmm. Typically, people make the mistake to kind of go into anything because their brother or sister is kind of making better uh. in a particular industry. But everyone's gift is different, right? Mm -hmm. So that it may be that someone is very good at selling plantain chips, whereas someone else is very good at selling, I don't know, um, hair services, right? Like there's different things you can, you can kind of look at. Uh, but I definitely say there's definitely going to be a need for a lot of services. Transportation is going to be needed. Yep. Um, so if you have a car, if you have an asset, then you can indeed drive people around even and, and, and or even get others to drive people around. Right, that's something you can kind of make money off. You don't even have to own the assets, mm. right? There's a lot of people that have assets, right? Have cars yeah. laying idle, right? You can mm -hmm. actually find a way to go into some kind of partnership to get them to um, allow you to use the car to make money and then share the profit, right? Um, but there's also houses, right? You don't, you, you don't even have to own a house to make money off a house, right? Because wow. there's people coming down. Um, you can literally be some kind of middle person, allowing people that are coming in to have a nice place to stay and allowing an owner of a property to make some money. Like, 
Endless, really. Endless. Yeah. 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 Really yeah. moving very fast. He's already giving some good tips. So yeah. for the transportation, like you said, you don't really need to own a car. Yeah. So it could be um, a friend's car or something, or, but you be the third party. Yeah. So you can just be a middleman in this case and say, yo, your car is there, it's not doing anything. How about we registered with Uber or mm -hmm. any of these guys so that we move it around and make some money. 100%. And if your a friend owns a property, you say, hey, how about we rent, you know. So you yeah. be the middleman and then the, the, the land, what do you call it, the, the property owner. owner makes money yep. and you get so some small for allowances for bringing that's you know, people in. That's, 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 that's simple. Money. And the thing is that you don't even need like proper capital in order to do these things. Like, mm. I mentioned these things because a lot of people think, oh, well, it's December, I don't have money, I don't know how to make money. And again, there's a saying, it, it takes money to make, to make money, mm -hmm. which is true for, you know, particular instances. However, in this case, like, you can literally make money. Out of nothing, yeah? Literally. <laughs> you have to just, you know. And yeah, it's good. Think. I mean, earlier, well, last week, we were talking about your network. Mm -hmm. Who do you know? There might ah. be a lot of people you have friends. Yeah. Be, just sit down and think about the friends. Like you said, you might have a friend that actually has a house that's just sitting there yeah. that nobody's going to be in. Just be like, okay, do you know what? This December, let's rent out, not even the whole house, the rooms. That's mm -hmm. it. Maybe 500 CDs a night. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to lie, guys. This is the time. The diaspora, they have money to spend. True. They actually have money <laughs> to spend. Don't, don't be ripping them off, but they have money. They've spend. saved for it. So. they saved for it. So yeah. think yeah. about the people around you. What about food? Yes, food. Yeah. Food is indeed a big one. You definitely always need food. I mean, COVID has shown us that food is, is one of the most resilient industries. Yeah. Right? If you're selling food, I mean, whether it's COVID or not, you still have you to eat, yeah. right? And also one thing that's really important is to kind of find a way to market it well, mm -hmm. right? The best brands that are doing really well. So I used to r run uh, an online food delivery service, the, the largest in the country. Mm -hmm. And you'd see that the companies doing really well are the companies that are branding themselves really well, mm -hmm. right? So you can have um, Bunker and Tilapia with one vendor mm -hmm. costing 40 CDs mm -hmm. with another vendor costing 70 CDs. Mm -hmm. It's the same bank rental app, mm -hmm. but it's a different kind of branding, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And also making sure that the customer understands that there's, you know, particular hygienic precautions and stuff taken. And I would, for example, pay extra mm -hmm. for better service, right? If mm -hmm. I know that it's clean, it's validated, um, I wouldn't have to, you know, spend some time at Kolebu after eating the meal. <laughs> yeah. I'd want to spend. Sorry. I'd want to spend on it. So, of course. I mean, there's different ways and means of, 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 of making good money in food as well. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. So how do you think people can go from the investment process to the marketing? Yeah. Um, I mean, first of all, it's first understanding like, okay, well, um, what kind of product or service do we have right now? That understanding who are you marketing towards, right? It's a completely different board game marketing to someone living in um, Accra versus someone in Kumase. Even within Accra, it's mm. different marketing to someone living in Abukubi versus someone living in Ridge. Mm. Completely it didn't sound different. like you could say Abukobi. Uh, <laughs> Don't judge a book by its cover. No, right? <laughs> oh, me pube. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so, um, um, yeah, it's understanding your target audience and then also kind of making sure that, like, all the marketing is also um, focused on getting this particular consumer. Mm. Mm, right. So mm. understand what you want to sell, understand your target audience, and then understand how to market towards your target audience. Yeah. So then, you know, talking about investment, in your opinion, how much do you think maybe a startup, someone who's starting now, how much do you think they should invest to be able to reap a yeah, good amount of profit? Yeah. yeah, it's different. It's different for everyone, really. Everyone's pocket is different. Mm. Someone that has 100 cities to invest can make a thousand or a million out of it. Mm. Someone that has a million to invest but not necessarily make a CD, right? So there's no set amount. It really depends on like, what you aim to do. But as I you know, gave these examples in the beginning, you, you actually don't need as much money to make money. You know, mm. you need a good idea. You, you need resilience. In our country, you need resilience, uh -huh. right? Things won't go on a silver platter, or we don't, we don't come on a silver platter, but like with resilience, um, you'll definitely get there, yeah. You know, I know Some people are very lazy and would say that. Let's get practical about what we're talking about. We seem to be talking about it, but let's get practical. So I've saved a thousand cities yeah. or two thousand cities. Yeah. You know what? Let's just say a thousand cities. This is what somebody has saved. It says, I have this thousand cities lying there. Yeah. What can I do with this thousand cities this Christmas and make sure that by the time the season is over, I've made, say, three thousand or four thousand yeah. of that money? What would you say? Like, yeah. I mean, the good thing about right now upfront costs is that upfront costs are lower due to the internet, right? Mm -hmm. So there's so many businesses, or for example, Instagram. Mm -hmm. You don't even need like a proper website. You don't even need a Shopify mm -hmm. membership in order mm -hmm. to make money, 
-hmm. There's literally, if you go on, on Instagram right now, there's so many businesses making bank. Like, I think even most fashion businesses that we kind of know are doing the most, as in like making the most through third party uh, platforms like mm. Instagram rather than their own platform or yeah. rather than even their physical shop. Yeah. There's a lot of shops that don't, well, a lot of online shops that don't even have a physical presence, mm. right? Um, even my own brand, Ginger, we don't have a physical shop, we have a little factory, but we only sell online, mm. yeah. right? Um, so I would spend that money if it needs to be spent on marketing. Right, finding ways and means of even if it's like sponsored ads, making sure that sponsored ads are out. You spend all the thousand cities on marketing? Um, I wouldn't say all of the thousand cities on marketing, um, but I would definitely say that like you don't need to spend depending on like what kind of product it is, right? But let's right. say okay, let's single out the the how okay. do you call it? The um I, okay, the, so the I'm putting you on the spot. Mm. So thousand cities, let's say because I know the diaspora is coming with like African food. Yeah. So let's say I want to do black shit all. Okay, okay. That's, that's good, right? A thousand CDs will do it a lot, a lot. definitely. You can, you can d indeed buy your packaging. Mm. You can buy your labels. Yeah. You can definitely buy your, uh, what do you call it? Your, Ingredient. Um, all the, in in the ingredients. And you can definitely also have some money to market, definitely. On Instagram yeah. or Even something. less. Even less. It, it starts with like a small batch, making sure that people kind of know. A bit of you direct doing? marketing. You know, your direct circle. Mm -hmm. Actually, actively. One, one, of the th one of the things that um, keeps people from making money is the fear of how people look at them, mm. right? The things I've done, it's, I've done so many things. Mm -hmm. And um, that fear of how someone would look at them. Let, let me just give you an example. For example, um, Kiliwili. Yeah. There's people in the country making bank of Kiliwili. Yes. Or selling coconuts, right? Yes. Two CDs, two and a half, two and a half, yeah. two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. Mm -hmm. And that's money, that's real money. Bottling mm -hmm. this, right? Mm -hmm. Two of these coconuts in one bottle. Um, they get a typical, I think, like 1.3 or something. They sell it for five CDs. Like, margins. These are great margins. If mm -hmm. you can sell these things and sell these a lot, right? The, percent, the, 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 the percentages that are on, those of margins, are high, right? So if you kind of do this trick multiple times, it's real money. But someone will say, oh, I graduated from XYZ University and Kukona Sela How. Even, yeah. even fish, this fish thing, like, people are like, ah, fish. Uh, fish, <laughs> you know, people are a bit, yeah. And and I mean, if if that's the way you think, if if you think about what people think about you, oh. you won't you won't really you won't really make much money at yeah. all. You will not have money for your girlfriend this Christmas. <laughs> Ish. Uh, it's uh, not even uh, for Christmas. Uh, uh. You make the money in December, you spend it in January when everybody is broke. <laughs> or invest it, well, th invest what, it so uh -huh. that you can spend it for like a lifetime. Look at that. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about this whole investing. We'll make the money, yeah. and then what, what do we do with the money? Is, yeah. yeah, what is investing? Yeah. How do we yeah. make sure that money that we made lasts us for a longer time, or even makes more money over yeah. time? Excellent. I mean, I I am a um, a firm advocate uh, for investments in real estate. Right, real mm. estate. Can never go wrong with real estate in my in my in my opinion. You know, they, they say you invest in real estate and wait rather than to wait invest in real estate. <laughs> um, so definitely invest in things like real estate. Of course, um, there's quite a timeline, um, but investments are such that it should be taken from a longer term perspective rather than like a shorter term perspective. Mm -hmm. Right. So investments in real estate are good. Um, there is all sorts of um, agricultural companies right now, innovative mm -hmm. agricultural companies that allow you to put little money and actually make the margins, yeah, right? Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we're actually organizing this conference, uh, the Ghanaian Dream Diaspora Investment Forum, uh, which is an annual thing which we organize each and every year, end of the year, and it's all about creating wealth in the motherland, right? Yes. Creating wealth for the motherland in the motherland. Mm. Um, and we have so many partners, we have, um, um, well, I'm just plugging in our, our sponsors if I may. <laughs> so uh, we have the Bank of Africa as our platinum sponsor, headline sponsor. We have Gold Key mm. Properties as our platinum, our platinum sponsor, headline sponsor. Um, there is um, 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 Clifton, Clifton Homes is going to be there, nice. Cape May is going to be there. So big names. Um, big names, definitely. Yeah, so they yeah. need to be there. Definitely, they, 100%. They, need to, they, need to, they definitely need to be yeah, there. Yeah. Okay, so whilst Christmas, and again, going back to Christmas and making money in December, do you think it's better to, you know, get an extra job or literally do you think it kind of defeats the purpose of having a Christmas break? Um, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> um, obviously, personally, <coughs> you should have some time to rest as well. However, I say this because he's a queer man. <laughs> People from queer like mean, money. I heard uh, that. Uh, yeah. Uh, no wonder. <laughs> There's no rest for a period, right? so I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's, it's balanced, it's balanced, but I mean, it's, it's indeed a good period to, 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 to leverage the amount of people coming down and Definitely. the amount of services needed. Mm. So I, I'd say, you know, you don't want 
We'll find a way to find the way. make some extra bucks. So what advice would you give to a young person watching who is like, yeah. they want to, they really do want to make some money, yeah. but they actually really do not know yeah. where to start from yeah. right now. So yeah. what would you say are the first steps? Excellent. Start, start, start with yourself. You know, understand, understand who you are, understand where you have some, you know, extra passion, understand where you have some extra um, skills, mm -hmm. right? It can be anything, really anything. Anything will sell if you market it the right way to the right audience, right? Mm. So first, understand who you are. Because the most authentic businesses are, are, are the businesses that actually thrive, right? Mm. Where there's passion, where there's energy. Um, so that's one thing. And then make, make sure that you market it well. I think marketing is marketing, so super important. I think, yeah, that's Packaging important. and marketing. Yeah. Word of yeah. mouth even is a strong... Is a strong people thing. underestimate yeah. word of mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Word of mouth is a strong way to market your business. You, again, who are your people around you? Yeah. Tell, you know, you have, if you just have one friend that will put the picture on their WhatsApp status, that can reach how many... And it's free. Mm. It yeah. doesn't cost a thing. Yeah. Putting it on Instagram and getting your friends to put, share to their share. stories yeah. Yeah, no, no, like no. this, it's, it doesn't cost much money yeah. at all. And I think the most, the most important thing would be to make sure that each and everything you do, each and every client that you serve is, is served with a particular you know, level of excellence. Because mm. that's your best marketing. Right. It's a word, word, of, word of mouth. Right? You can do all the marketing. You can spend even like a million CDs on marketing. But yeah, if you disappoint sense. one or two, three customers, so talk bad about it's it. going to go around and come back. You know? And yeah. you. So the core has to be good. Mm. Guys, we are discussing how to cash in this Christmas. Make sure you join the conversation by sending us some messages on our WhatsApp line. The number is 055 Our guest is Terry Afra. Mm -hmm. uh, Terry Quasi. Uh, let's read some comments that have come in. Okay, this one says, okay, can read this one now? Uh, very interesting comment, Mrs. <laughs> Drew. This one says, Good morning, MX24. I'm just enjoying your show. Ms. Drew, can I please give. Can you please give me your number? Hey. <laughs> Rahim from Tamale. I'll 055 give you Terry's number. <laughs> zero, 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 zero. <laughs> um, this one says, um, Hello, good morning. I love your show and I love you guys more. Thank you. Please do, tell the loving lady she's beautiful and I like how she talks. Oh, thank oh. you. Oh, I'm, I'm even blushing now, please. <laughs> Why? Lucilla. Why are you looking? Hey, Godwin, you look good today. Thank you. I want to know if Miss Drew... It... And why are you guys asking questions about me? We are talking about making money I'm, and you're I not was serious. Hoping, seriously, I was hoping that they'll be asking questions about... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's move yeah. on. Uh, let's move on. But uh, Terry, what would you say? Is that some question coming in. Is it, is it, would you say it's better to... Um, which one would you say is better and why? Saving up for Christmas or working during the Christmas? Mm. Saving up for Christmas or working during the Christmas? So um, it's like what she's asked earlier. You say yeah. you have to enjoy yeah. or you work during the Christmas and yeah. make some more money yeah. for the following year. I mean... Hmm. <laughs> He's only going to give a biased <laughs> opinion. <laughs> I, think, I think it really depends on like where you stand. Right? If you don't have proper money um, to save all your money and to blow it in Christmas and then go and start 2022 dry, Eesh. it's not the best. It's not That's the best. Not smart. You know, yeah. Um, of course, you'd have to, you know, take some rest and stuff. My rest doesn't even cost too much money, mm. right? Um, so it depends on her own financial situation. If she thinks she's comfortable enough to indeed just, you know, blow whatever she saved, definitely, by all means, because it's the period to also enjoy. Yeah. However, if she doesn't think she is there yet, then it, 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 can, it can actually... So who's supposed to do this? Someone working for somebody or somebody owning their own company? Mm. Who would you, what would you say? Is it for someone working for another person? Are they the ones to save... Then said, Christmas, Charlie, I've saved, I've worked hard, let me mm. go and enjoy. Or someone who owns their, who owned your business and says, you know, I'm, I'm, I've worked. Yeah. Well, I think it's, well, that's an interesting, mm. I don't even know how to look See? at it. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dis distinguish the two. Yeah, but yeah. You know, because both work, work hard, mm. both yeah. make money. So I wouldn't necessarily say, go, if you're an entrepreneur, then, then you, you, you deserve rest or mm. not. And if you, you know, so. If you work, yeah. Keep, keep working. Yeah. So then that means, Terry, would you say you're an advocate for having more than one job? Um, yes, actually. Well, depending. Again, it depends on the person. Not, 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 it's not for everyone. Mm. However, mm. however, however, in our, in our country, yeah. it, yes. it, it helps it's to do to something have, yeah. extra. Have your fingers right? in many Definitely. ties. Yeah, because, I mean, one, the opportunities are there. Yeah. And typically also, anyway, the opportunities are there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which area more would you yeah. push people towards this Christmas? Yeah. I mean, every, every sector will be making money. Mm -hmm. But which area do you think will yeah, make more Yeah, it's the more best one that yeah. will bring money. the most Yeah, Christmas. tourism. Tourism, tourism. Huh? anything, anything, hospitality, 
right? You can even literally... So I lived in South Africa for, for a while. Like mm -hmm. I used to work with an American bank that sent me to South Africa. And um, I remember we once went to this place called Soweto. Mm -hmm. And there were just locals. Locals yeah. that came and just gave us like guided tours. And we paid them money, right? So you can even... Let's say your, your, your neighborhood is Jamestown. You know Jamestown like... The back oh, of your hand. Oh, right. You That's can just, true. The kids in Jamestown, they can yeah, take they the, do that. Yeah, they do that. Take you around, take you, give them some money, so and people will pay. There's so many things you can do. There's so many things you can do. Like, you just have to understand, again, what you have at hand. Like, even the Bible says it, what, what, what God says. Okay, let me just, let me just. Let me just yeah, scripture. Scripture. I mean, uh, scripture. 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 Anyway, like, what is in your hand, really? Yeah. What, what is, is in your hand? You? What is in your hand? And look at it and find a way to leverage that. I That's love that. Amazing. Your last yeah. words, Terry, man. We could talk forever, but <laughs> your last words to motivate these people watching this Monday and, of course, this Christmas on how they can cash in. Yeah. Um, again, I think, I think I'll just reiterate. Look, look at yourself. What is your hand? Um, and... Um, Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, literally, Just basically literally, yeah. think about what's in your hand, yeah. what is around you, yeah. what have you got. Don't even think too far about, oh, I want to start this. Think about what is right next to you. Yeah. What Come are you on. good at? Yeah. What is in your Come heart? On. Yeah, maybe one easily? more. Yeah, so there's this Latin, Latin saying. It goes, pecunia non olet, right? Mm -hmm. Which basically Latin. means... Latin. Yes. Say it slowly. Latin. Pecunia, pecunia non olet. Non olet. Money doesn't stink, right? Oh, so yeah. basically... Um, as long as it's legal, as long as it's like morally, you know, right and stuff, ethical. I mean, don't think too much about what people think. Like money is money. If you want to you, sell watches, sell the watches. You know, there's a, there's a song, local song that says "Sika kind kind will." I'm literally what he said. Money you know? does no money doesn't stink. Exactly. Like said, yes. Sika yeah. kind kind. So there's no stinking money. Yeah. Mm. But like he said, as long as it's not illegal yes. yeah and it's not dirty yeah dirty dirty yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys oh, sorry I, what, what did i tell you about being in a blue mood look at us look at uh, us we blue, 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 blue i love it i love it i love carpet. it terry yeah. please ask us now we can follow you on social media if mm -hmm. anybody wants to you know message you to get more advice on investment and making money this christmas where can they contact you yeah excellent so at terry Quissy, which is t-e-r-r-y-q-u-a-s-i mm -hmm. Uh, and the page for the, the conference that is coming up at, on the 30th of December at the Moving Pick mm -hmm. um, is TGDIF21. TGDIF. That's TGDIF21. The Ghanaian Dream Diaspora Investment Forum. The Ghanaian yes. Dream Investment, Investment Forum. Forum. Ah! Yes, yes, yes. If you are not there, then you clearly money isn't a part of your life. Yep. We have said it. It has been done. Godwin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Terry. Thank you for that conversation. And guys, you're still watching the AM Club. Coming up next, I have an interesting motivational conversation with, with um, Ivan Kwashiga, CEO of Farmhouse Production.